Okay, um, I've lost my voice, so I'm going to do my best here. Um, I've had a few questions on the Teosinte lab, so I wanted to go over how to do these Punnett squares. Um, for the first one, it said to use T and M, T for Teosinte, M for maize. The only way that the corn looks like maize is if it has two M's. For the alleles, the only way it looks like teosinte is if it has two T's. Um, if it is a mix or heterozygous, then it looks like some kind of a hybrid. Um, so what we're going to do in this Punnett square, it tells you on the page before that you're going to be crossing two hybrids. Because this is called the F1 generation. It came from where we took teosinte and crossed it with maize. Pure teosinte crossed with pure maize gave us this hybrid. When we cross the hybrid with itself, that's called the F1 generation, we get the F2 generation. The F2 generation is what we're going to see here in our Punnett square. So if this is our cross, here's what our Punnett square looks like. And if I want you to start noticing patterns, one out of four looks like teosinte, one out of four looks like maize. Half of them, two out of four, look like a hybrid. So you'll do your ratios here. That look just like teosinte is one out of four, which is 0.25 or 25%. <clears throat> one out of four looks just like maize, also 25%. Two out of four look like a hybrid, and that's 50%. Now, when you go down to here and we're talking about what if two genes are involved, we need to distinguish these two genes as A and B. So now our heterozygous or our F1 cross is going to be gene A, and they're going to have two alleles for A and two alleles for B. Since it's heterozygous, you're going to be heterozygous for A, heterozygous for B. And you're going to cross that with itself. Okay? So if we kind of follow the same pattern that we saw up here, the gametes that you can get, this A can go with this B because each gamete has to have an A and a B. So if I did that, then these are the T's. Then I'm going to skip down here to the end and do this A with this M so that, and we'll see why in a minute, see that you have both M's here. The other probabilities or the other possibilities that you can have is kind of a mixture. This T could go with this M. So I've got an A and a B, a T and an M. And um, this M could go with this T right here. Those are the only combinations that you can have. You've got to remember if you've got two traits, two genes, both genes have to be in the gametes. And then we're going to cross that with itself, so we're going to do all of these gametes down the side. So we've got an A and a B allele for each gamete possibility. We're going to do both the T's here, both the M's here. If we keep consistent, this will help us in the next Punnett square. And then we've got a T and an M here, an M and a T here. When you fill out this Punnett square, just do the T's and M's. Because we know that the only way a plant looks like teosinte is to have all teosinte alleles. The only way it looks like maize is to have all maize alleles. So watch how I fill this in. I'm going to take this one here, two T's, two T's. And so on. You can fill out the entire Punnett square. I'll let you finish that up. But one thing I want you to notice is that down here in this corner, you're going to have all M's. So just like this first Punnett square, in this corner we had all T's, and in this corner we had all M's. Same thing here. We've got all T's here, 
and all M's. So what that means is that one out of 16 times you're going to get Teosinte. One out of 16 times you're going to get maize. The other 14 times you're going to get the hybrid. Now, when the scientist Beetle did his experiment with real corn and he grew 50,000 um, corn plants, he found that one in 500 um, looked like Teosinte, one in 500 looked like maize. So we haven't quite gotten to that 500 yet. If it had been one gene controlling all the changes between Teosinte and corn, then we would have seen one out of four look like Teosinte. If it had been two genes, a and B. We would have seen one out of 16 plants look just like Teosinte. So on this side, you're going to fill in your ratios just like you did before. Um, the ratio that you would expect to look like Teosinte is one out of 16, and then figure out the percentage. Answer those questions on your own. All right, now we're going to say what would happen if we had three genes, A, B, and C. All right, so the way that you're going to make your, uh, your <clears throat> gametes that go here and here, remember that if you've got three genes, all three are going to have to be in the gametes. Okay? We're not going to fill out this whole Punnett square because we should have seen a pattern. We're just going to fill out the corners. All right. So uh, if you remember, we were crossing um, two hybrids. So the hybrid parent would have looked like this, two A's, two B's, two C's, and they would have had a T and an M on each of those. And then that parent's going to be crossed with itself. This parent's going to go here. This parent's going to go here not with itself, literally, with an with exact same plant that has that genotype. All right, so if I put the A and the B and the C all with the T's right here and the M's right here, everything in between is going to be a mixture. So you might have the A and the B with the T and the C with an M. Uh, you'll have eight different possibilities there. Then down this side, I'm going to do the same thing. Now, again, in the squares, we're only going to fill in these two corners where the intersection occurs. And we're only going to put the T's and the M's inside the box. So right here at this intersection where these two meet, We have all T's. Down here, where this one comes down and this one goes across, we have all M's. Everything else in the middle is going to be a hybrid. There's going to be at least a T and an M in each one. So this tells us if this is 8 by 8, that's 1 out of 64 are going to look just like Teosinte. 1 out of 64 will look like maize. And that's all you need to fill out on this particular Punnett square. So over here, you'll answer these questions. This shows you a way that you can calculate the possibilities without making Punnett squares. So just read through this. Basically, if you have one um, gene that's controlling whether or not the plant is teosinte or corn, that's four to the one. So you have a one in four chance of getting teosinte, a one in four chance of getting corn. Um, if you have two genes controlling your uh, corn, that's four to the two, so that's 16. That means you have a one in 16 chance of getting teosinte, a one in 16 chance of getting maize. We showed this in that first big Punnett square we made. The next big Punnett square we made was four to the third. 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64. So that means that there's a 1 in 64 chance of getting teosinte, 1 in 64 chance of getting corn. So this is going to ask you to follow that through uh, doing 5 and 10 genes. 
So you'll do those calculations there and answer these questions. So Beetle noticed that one in 500 plants looked identical to Teosinte and one in 500 looked like maize. So we're trying to figure out how many genes control that. We know it's not one because that's not one in 500, it's one in four. We know it's not two, it's more than that. We know it's not three even, we know it's more than three because this says one in 64. I hope that helps.